Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to use the fantastic Divi Supreme modules to create this 3D card carousel. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. Very eye-catching. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable the Visual Builder. Okay, once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work and I'll just delete this module I've got here. Okay, so I've just got a section, blue tab, with a gradient background and a row with a single column. And let's add our module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules. When you add the Supreme Modules Pro, you get another 42 of these modules and they really are fantastic and I'm going to use the supreme card carousel today so I'm going to left click on it and the first thing it's going to ask us to do is add a new item and there we are it's put in some dummy ones for us and let's say I won't put in a title I'll leave its default text there I'm going to shave a bit of that off a little bit too long. Obviously, you would have some proper content to put in there. Image and badge. Well, I don't really want to use the badge, but I will use an image. I'm going to go say get the image. And that was Divi, so I'll use the Divi theme. I'm just using 200 by 200 square images for this. I'm going to, I've got it to uh, use the image as the background which will centralize it but I want to make it actual size which like I say minor minor 200 by 200 so I'm going to put them to actual size there we go and I don't want to change anything else for the badge I don't want that so I'm actually going to go to the design I'm going to go down to badge and I'm just going to make the background color transparent so it disappears and I'll make the text color transparent also so it disappears no badge okay back to content if you want to you can make each card link to something here by putting your URL in there if you're linking to an external site I suggest you have it open in a new tab if it's on the same site keep it in the same window that way your site stays up all the time here's a button Put in whatever text you want in the button text up here. And obviously put in the link where you want it to go down below. Same rules apply if you're linking externally, open it in a new tab. Okay, I don't want any of these. I don't want to open another light box or a video light box. I'll just leave it as a plain link. Background, I'm going to put in a little light sort of background. So I'm going to hit the add background color and just put my hex code in there. There we go. That'll work for me. Okay, let's move on to our design tab. Image and badge, we've already got that taken care of. Title text, I want to put that in the middle. I think I'll make it bold. And I may as well use the same colors we've been using before. And put it in the middle there. I might want to take that up a little bit in size as well. Fantastic. Moving on down, I'm not going to do anything else to it. Body text. This I want to centralize also. That's fine. And the button, I'm happy with it as it is. The reason it's purple with blue, that's where I've got it set up in my theme customizer there. I just set my buttons to be like that. By default, Divi will give you a white outline button from memory. So let's go to our button and the only thing I want to do here is align it in the middle. Of course if you want to custom it, customize it, just flip this custom styles on and you can size it, color it however you wish. But mine's fine as it is. Great. So I think the only other thing I want to do to my cards is add a little border top and bottom. And you can add all sides at once. You can do top, right, bottom and left individually. So I'm going to do say six pixels at the top. Can slide or type in the value however you want to do it and you can fine-tune with the little buttons there 
and I'm going to make that that same color we've used for everything else and I'm going to do similar for the bottom and again six and same color great okay well that's our first card done let's save that and now we can copy it over I think I've got six different cards there we go now I'm going to simply go into the next one change the title change out the image below and there's no point you watching me do this so I'll pause this video and I'll get the other six done all I'm doing is changing the image and the title and obviously you'd want to change the link for your button as well so let's pause this and I'll get the others done okay well I've added the others now and populated them let's just go down to our carousel settings there's various different ones I'm just going to slow it down a bit slider speeds of 300 mils as default I'm going to take mine up to about a thousand which is a little more calm as you can see that slows the actual transition down and the auto play time is set to three seconds as default or 3000 milliseconds that's how long it takes for to change every three seconds it's going to float one to the left okay now still in carousel settings under content we've got various different effects at the moment it's on slide one we're going to use today is cover flow but I'll just show the others we've got flip which is nice but it'll make it the full width of the row there and as you can see it flips to the next one and then to the next one that's a lovely little effect right there and you've got Q again it'll be full width but it'll sort of cube rotate which also is a nice effect there we go but I'm going to use cover flow which will let us do that sort of 3d effect there and as you can see it sort of turned it into 3d there I think you can choose to turn the shadow on and off here it gives the side ones that little shadow which to me gives it that sort of 3d effect with it off it works fine but you just don't have that shadow So I'll leave that on now I've got mine set to a negative value here let's just delete that by default it'll have this value right there which is nice but I kind of want mine more like a a real carousel that you'd see at a fairground which is sort of rolling round and round so I've given mine a negative value I've given it negative 30 obviously you adjust yours how you want but that works for me the depth you can bring it up or down depending on what size you want your little side ones to be but I want mine almost to be the same size as the center one just a little bit smaller perhaps I've got three um, so it's naturally doing centered mode if not you can turn this on to keep one in the middle it won't make any difference to mine today you can choose a number of slides to show like I say I've got mine set on three um, if you've got center mode I'd, I'd use an odd number we could probably put it up to five but then we'd have to adjust let's take that down one you'd have to adjust your actually spacing and depth here so I'm going to put mine back to three there we go slider speed but well, we covered that earlier on definitely want it to auto play and the change in fill like I say it's going to rotate a slide every three seconds or 3000 milliseconds I want it to pause on hover so if somebody puts their mouse over it when they're looking at it it'll stop and they can read the info and hit the button there you can change your spacing here like I say if you do more slides you're going to want to change that spacing they get further away or closer together I'm 
just adjust it how you want infinite looping yep for sure I want that it'll keep going round and round and round if you've got a different amount of content in there you may want to use equal height because it'll make make sure that they're all the same height and it'll keep that effect looking well if they're different heights it may look a bit strange now we've got arrows and we've got pagination if I roll this up just a little bit there's pagination right there and there's arrows right there I'm going to take my arrows away I'm going to leave the pagination as it is and the grab cursor as you can see it turns into a little hand when you roll over it, indicating that you can click on it great I'm not going to put a background in because we're using the background of our gradient section there moving on to the design really don't want to change anything we've got it stacked one on top of each other you can put it in line which will make it look a bit strange for what we've got going on here but for other card effects that's great so I'm going to leave mine as stacked image don't want to do anything to my image you can give it borders and rounded corners and box shadows the badge well we've taken that away we've made it invisible or transparent so it's not there don't need to do anything with that arrows we took those away pagination you can go in here and you can change the color as you can see I've got mine as purple there and the other ones I've got as white so it stands out on that background you can move it up or down move it left it'll go down move it right it'll go up just space it out wherever you want it I think 75 was good And again increment with the little arrows there so as far as I can tell I think we're good to go you can adjust your title text as you see mine is purple make it whatever color you want text size all the regular text features but I'm pretty happy with the way mine is body text again you can adjust that align it make it whatever color you want change the font whatever you will I haven't got a subheading and sizing wise I'm happy for it to do what it's doing right now you can decide if you want the width to be less just pull this back and it'll only take up so much room and if you want to align it to the center which I do I'd put it there left obviously there right obviously there but I'm happy for mine to take up 100% the available space so I'll leave that as it is the button well we've covered that don't want to do anything to that spacing wise happy with that padding and everything seems okay to me don't really need any filters or transform or animation so we should be good to go let's save our changes let's exit the visual builder and go down and take a look and there we have it there's our little 3d card carousel with a call to action button and I think that's a lovely little effect to have on your site people are scrolling along and that pops up they're going to be looking at it and while we're here let's just make sure it's going to work on responsive devices when you go to an iPad it's probably going to flip down to one card at a time but it'll still be a working carousel I'm using Google Chrome with the inspector tools here so if I hit F12 it'll bring up the inspector tools right here I can use the little responsive toggle and that's on an iPhone as you can see it's one slide at a time that's fine that works absolutely fine for me let's have a look on an iPad or a tablet again it's a single and again that works perfectly for me fantastic so let's get out of here I'll just detoggle that and exit and there's our little carousel so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.